Hey guys, uh, it's been a while and I'm just doing a video on how to get modded drivers for all Intel HD graphics models. Um, I got this request in the comments about a week ago um, and I decided to do a video. Um, if you guys have any other requests for maybe uh, increasing FPS in certain games such as CSGO or maybe just increasing uh, performance for your computer, just request them in the comments. I read them all and I'll be happy to do a video on them. Um, before I start the video, um, this is for advanced users, so um, please follow my instructions very carefully. If you install the wrong uh, driver for your model, um, you could mess up your computer. Um, I don't know what exactly happened. Uh, I've never seen it and I don't want to, so please just follow the instructions carefully and you'll be sure to have uh, modded drivers. So before I get started, I'm just going to tell you what modded drivers are for who, those who don't know. Uh, modded drivers are basically uh, custom drivers by a c group of uh, programmers who've created modded drivers for Intel HD graphics. Um, they're not Intel, but uh, they basically added their own uh, basic drivers and modifications to increase FPS in certain games. For example, Battlefield 3, uh, I noticed about a 20 FPS boost, while in some other games I noticed about a 10 FPS boost, and some games I don't notice a boost at all. So it does vary. Uh, some You might not even notice a change, but for some you may. And it just depends on your version of the drivers, depends on your model. Uh, and depends on the game too. So let's just get started. The first thing you want to do is disable the device integrity checks for your computer. Uh, basically it lets you run uh, modded drivers that are unsigned so not officially from Intel. So this will work for Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10 and uh, uh, this should work for Windows uh, 7. So the first thing you want to do is open up command prompt. You want to right click and run as uh, admin. Um, I already have it open, so I'm just going to use this one. You should see System32 basically letting you run, uh, let you letting you know this is run as administrator. So the first thing you want to uh, put in is bcd edit set load options disable underscore integrity underscore checks and you would click enter here um, but as you can see um, I already have it in test mode um, because you have to reboot your computer and I can't record that when I do it so basically you would click enter here and don't worry I'll put this in the description below so you can just copy paste it easily uh, once you press, press enter here uh, the next command you want to put is bcd edit set test signing on and uh, don't worry we'll disable all this uh, after you've installed the driver so you don't uh, I mean if you want it if you leave it on nothing will nothing bad will happen uh, once you enter both those commands in and you get a successful uh, prompt uh, you basically want to reboot your computer and don't skip this step you have to or you won't be able to you'll get an error when you try to install the drivers and uh, to let you know that you've done it right you should see you should see a test mode uh, or some sort of build number or anything in the uh, bottom right corner to let you know you've done it right. Alright, now let's get to installing the modded drivers. So the first thing you want to do is you want to um, open up Chrome and you want to go to this website called intellimodder32.com um, I'll link this in the description so you guys can easily just go to this website. Uh, this is the group uh, that also cre that create these modded drivers for us. Um, basically you want to go to downloads and here you'll see this chart and it will tell you uh, what driver name is associated with your uh, chip site or your basically model of your Intel. Um, I have the 3000 so I'm the Omega driver name um, and it will work for these OS's and this architecture. So if you have 32-bit, you can't get modded drivers, unfortunately. But um, it's 2016, and most computers now come in 64-bit. So if you have an older computer, uh, you might have a problem with this. But newer computers are 64-bit. 
um, basically look at your chipset and see which model number matches yours and you'll know which device name or driver name to get and make sure it's uh, compatible with your computer with the OS's here and the architecture here um, so I have the Omega driver so I'll go down right now Oh, here we go we have the Intel HD 3000 it'll let you know right now so if you get the 4000 you'd get this the 4400 and above so I guess this would include the uh, 5000 all right here yeah the Skylake includes 4400 4600 and 5000 and that's the Skylake series which you can see clearly right here so next thing you want to do is uh, click the driver name that you're gonna get for your model I have the Omega so I clicked Omega you'll have to wait uh, for the ad alright and this will be the page for your uh, Omega drivers um, it'll basically tell you uh, you know uh, for Battlefield 3 Assassin's Creed um, you, you, you know you'll get a good FPS boost in those games especially um, and, and they add other other things you can see here um, the thing is these guys uh, keep updating drivers because the I like my model is really old now and Intel doesn't create drivers for them so newer games uh, don't run as well um, but these guys are complete they're updating it constantly so I do I can run you know newer games like GTA 5 you know on okay FPS but before I wouldn't be able to run them at all so um, basically um, these are the different versions you can get I recommend just getting the latest um, I mean you can get the oldest but I recommend the latest so I got Omega 5.0 you'll see another link here Uh, once you get this, um, this will be your Google Drive link, so just simply click OK here and download. Um, I already have it downloaded, so I can just skip the step. Uh, you want to go into your Downloads folder, and here you'll see the file name. Uh, it is PHDGD, that's the group name, and then Omega 5. So if you had the 4400, it should say Skylake. It says Omega for me because that's the application. It's going to be an EXE because it's going to extract a folder. So basically you want to run this and it'll tell you what folder to extract and you simply click extract and uh, it will extract all the driver files into that computer. Uh, once you're done here, you want to, uh, once you're done, you should see a folder and here you go. This is the driver. Uh, if you've installed Intel drivers before, this should look really familiar. So click setup. <coughs> Uh, and it'll tell you, oh, oh, this uh, it might say this is a older version and you have the newer version. This is just because it's not officially from Intel. Um, don't worry about this, just ignore it. You may or may not get this. Uh, you can disable this. This is just like a any normal driver. Yes, um, just make sure, oh, well, I clicked it, but uh, I know which ones I'm getting. Um, it'll let you know what version support it, what OS, just to, you know, double check, right? and uh, basically now it's installing so I'm just gonna pause the recording here and let you guys know when it's finished uh, you might get this uh, Windows security thing basically saying oh uh, we can't you know this is not from Intel you shouldn't download this but this is confirmed uh, I, I'll tell you guys this is 100% real that you won't get a virus from this nothing bad will happen uh, Windows just warns you because um, you know, it's not from Intel, so basically just say install this driver anyway, uh, nothing will happen just because it's not from Intel itself. And uh, I'll be back after this is done. Alright guys, uh, looks like setup is finished, uh, click next. And you, sh uh, you will have to restart your computer, which I'll do uh, later, I guess. So I'll say no for now, uh, you guys should because I'm recording a video uh, the audio uh, the video will cut out and click finish and when you reboot your computer um, it should be working fine and dandy um, if you wanna make sure it is working um, right click the desktop when I go to uh, I think it's display settings
uh, you want to go down to advanced and you want to scroll down again to display adapter properties and you will see up oh, here we go adapter type it says PHDGD Omega 5.0 to let you know that driver is running on your computer now um, and not the official Intel one um, getting rid of this is uh, very easy guys um, all you have to do is um, if you say you know you're not happy with the performance of the driver say that um, may maybe there's some bug in the driver um, I doubt it but if you do want to get rid of it uh, simply just um, you can install uh, the old Intel driver by going to their website in my other video um, I show you how to do that and just simply install the driver and it'll just replace the driver that you got from these guys and as simple as that and if you do want to disable the integrity check um, you want to run this as administrator uh, after you reboot after you get the driver um, if you do not want the integrity check off maybe mm, you're not you're not comfortable with it uh, basically uh, enabling it again would just be the same uh, BCD edit set load options enable integrity underscore checks you would click here and it's all completed successfully uh, next thing you want to do is bcd edit set test signing off there we go it's completed and when you reboot uh, this should not be in the bottom right corner and uh, you won't be able to run modded drivers so if you want to upgrade um, you'll have to do that stuff all over again uh, but this basically disables it and when you reboot um, you should have the modded driver and this should be disabled and uh, basically that's it um, let me know in the comments how much of an FPS boost you got um, if you have any questions or any problems just leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to help you um, and that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, it's been a long video. And uh, maybe I'll see you again.